Welcome back to Rose Rocket Platform. In this video, we're gonna show you how to tender loads to your partner carriers. The three key things we'll go over today are how to send loads to your partner carriers, how to request location updates from drivers, and how to share status of orders with your customers. Let's get started. First, we're gonna learn how to send a load to your partner carrier. First, let's send a load to your partner carrier. In our previous video, we covered how to enter orders, so definitely have a look at that video. But once the order details are entered, we can follow the widget to go ahead and assign our partner carrier. First thing we're gonna do is click here in the widget. You can also see that you can create a new partner carrier just in time. And with Rose Rocket's integration with the FMCSA website, we can quickly add a partner carrier by simply entering their DOT or the partner carrier's name. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and assign a partner carrier that I've already used and that is in my database. First thing we're gonna do is search that partner carrier and go ahead and select them and attach them to this load. The next step is to assign a rate to this partner carrier's load tender. We're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now we're gonna go ahead and send this off to our partner carrier. So in here, we're just gonna go ahead and select the contact at this partner carrier that we're gonna use. You can also see that we have a few options here, such as requesting the location tracking for a driver, or you can even check this box and include a formatted bill of lading along with your rate confirmation to your partner carrier. Now we're just gonna go ahead and send that email. And that's how we send loads to our partner carriers. Next, we're gonna learn how to request location updates from drivers. The other way we can track and trace our partner carrier's driver is through our scheduled automated ETA requests widget. Looking at this widget, we can see that there, there are two ways to schedule a request. We can either schedule a text directly to our partner carrier's driver, or we can schedule an email to our partner carrier. First, let's dive into the schedule email to partner carrier. What this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to schedule emails to your partner requesting an ETA update for upcoming tasks. Emails will automatically be sent two hours prior to each pickup and each delivery is requested time. In this scenario, we would just go ahead and enter our carrier's email address and hit schedule. Now, in terms of texting their driver directly, we're gonna hop into a new order here and we're gonna hit schedule request and select schedule text to driver. This is gonna schedule a text directly to that partner carrier's driver requesting that they share their location. And automatically, 15 minutes prior to each pickup and delivery is requested time, it will send back the driver's current location. We're gonna enter the driver's phone number and hit send, and that's it. Next, we're gonna learn how to share shipment status with your customer. Now, when in an order, we can navigate to the share button here, and we can enable public sharing of this order so that you can then go ahead and copy this link and share it with your customer. In addition to that, we can go ahead and create a custom board for our customer, which is gonna share visibility on all orders that we're moving for this customer. And if you wanted to learn how to create a custom board of this nature, go ahead and check out one of our first videos, which covers how to create a custom board. And that's it. In this video, we just covered three key workflows, such as how to send loads to your partner carriers, how to request location updates from your drivers, and how to share shipment status with your customers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.